Good evening everyone, I hope I'm the Nebogram, and I'm playing a bit more Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox today. Well the reason I say I hope I'm the Nebogram is because I tried to open up XSplits to uh, stream to Twitch and it asked me for my password five times, so I hope I haven't inadvertently given them access to everything I own online. I'm going to get into the game now because I'm getting a bit. I've listened to this entire ambient music twice already and I'm getting a bit pissed off of it, so let's get in. Uh, we're doing things a bit differently this time. One, I'm wearing a headset, you can actually hear me, hopefully. As I said, I hope I'm the Nevergram. Two, I'm. Two, yes, I'm using a controller this time, which hopefully should work a bit better. Giovanni Crack. Right, so controller test good. Um, uh, what are the key binds again? Um, yeah, can we have a controller option, please? Uh, apparently, we can't. I'm sort of going to have to. Uh, yeah, speed. Where is the controller? Actually, we're going to have the ambient volume down a bit, I think. Because that's getting a bit annoying. And new music volume. That's much better. Uh, load that one. This is the game that I was playing. We're back where we were. Okay, that's good. Oh. Do you want to crack? Right, so we know that A, A is the jump button. Oh, D spawns in my vehicle. Um... Y opens up my inventory vehicle. Um, Alright, we'll spawn another vehicle. Oh, B gets in it. Oh no, I have to start it first. What's the start button again? Um, mm, no, we're sort of going around fairly impotently here. Uh, oh, escape actually leaves the vehicle, that's okay. That's not too much... This, this guy broke his legs falling off the hood of a car. Um, how do you start the vehicle again? Come on. Vehicle. Uh, gear up, gear down, don't want that, don't want that, don't want that. Don't want any of those. Or those. Or those. Or those. This is the problem. Um, oh, X. X is presumably how you start the car. So, no, we don't want that. Back, back. Thank you. Thank you, Skuggy, for favouriting my tweet. You're not actually watching. But, whatever. Right. Oh. Oh, this is counterintuitive. Um, apparently the control... Um, for... Um... This is certainly familiar. Yeah. Um... Get out of here, please. I really need a piss. Yeah, the control for accelerators is apparently holding down on the D-pad. I don't like... Uh, not on the D-pad, on the analog stick. I don't like that. Um, how the hell do I... Right, um, so vehicle. Uh, where's throttle up? Throttle down. No, 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 no. That's this vertical. Yeah. I don't think this is designed with controller in mind, even though I can actually use the controller. This could be a problem. Right, um... Okay, so if I hold down the right analog trick and... No. Right analog trick, right analog trigger. This is going to be interesting. Reset that all. I maybe should have had a 
bit of a play around with the controller before live streaming but what is a Wednesday live stream by the Nebogram if not completely incompetent. Right, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to just get out something that I can actually drive. No, no. Don't want a fast edit, just that will do. So let's have the damn van. Oh crap. Um. Uh, oh no, we're moving, we're moving. Yo. Yeah, this thing does not like hills. Why is the music so loud? I'm sure I turn the music down. Better. It may not be very loud for anybody watching, which is nobody, uh, but believe me, it's deafening. I like that Atari tree on the right there. I'm not entirely sure that I'm playing homebrew or just a really, really weird version of Yarl's Revenge. Give me the van. Apparently, apparently I could push this. Okay. Which is the gear shift button again? Oh, that looks like a ram. That looks like a half pipe. Yes, yes, yes. A thousand times yes. Everything about that went brilliantly. <laughs> um, let's get the rocket car. Oh, apparently the damn van just disintegrates when you pick up a new car, which is probably for the best, considering how much I roll them, this place would just be littered with cars eventually. Though I'm sure that never happened in the past. Let's head over to the objective. Cruising at a steady 300. Um, crashing at a steady 300 kph. Okay. Uh, this is good. This would be so much easier if we actually had uh, controls. Um, On the plus side, I'm still going forward. POWER! Thank you. Clearly, some adjustment is needed to my playstyle. I think the adjustment, obviously, is going to be more power. Just a quick burst, and then a long run! Last time I played this, I got out really quite some distance. Just landed on the wheels, that counts as a win. Turned three five degrees and ended up on the, on the roof. That counts as a fail. This thing's like a mountain goat, it just lands on its feet. What are you saying? Inside of the show. Yeah. 
yeah, I think I'm done now. Um, stop breaking your legs, stepping off the side of that. I don't think 12 rockets are quite enough. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to head back into the... Um, head back into the workshop for a bit and see if I can remember how to play the game or how to build anyway. Right, so... Oh yes, yeah, I remember now. You sort of manoeuvre around as though you're flying. Right. So, what I want is obviously more rockets. I'm going to put two on either side of that, um, two on the top, let's put four on the top. So I have an extra eight rockets. Um, there should be enough fuel to deal with that. That's the fuel linkage there. I think that's fuel linkage anyway. So how do we how do we do this again? We need the. Uh, that's no no no. Is this the parts fitter? No. Well, that did something. Uh. Hover over, please. Don't be telling me what that is. Spawn object. There's nothing to spawn. Okay. This looks at the. Um, this looks just looks at the framework. The framework's okay. We don't need that. This looks at the engine. The power system. This looks at everything. We don't really need any of that. But. Hover cola. No. Uh, okay, that turns on the gravity. Where's... No. Um, where is... The... Come on, where are the parts? I think I've just taken a load of screenshots. No. Um, come on. Well, apparently right click just automatically snaps to the centre there. Where is the return to game? Okay. That did that. Done that a lot. This apparently makes different pipes. That's good. Pipe light. Don't want that. Frame back to framework. Don't want that. Um, okay. Ah, this is where we go. Parts. Um, don't want part. We don't find. We don't want. We want parts. Where is the rocket? There we go. Let's see. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's good. Um, so now I remember what I have to do here. Uh, damn it, why is the navigation right click rather than left click? Right, what I have to do here is pick up one of these. Stop rolling. Look at that, that's floating and you're rolling. That's just, that's just not fair. Pick that up by that. And attach it to... That and I sort of have to rotate it now. How I do that, I cannot remember. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's good. That's got that done. So now I just put the other eight on. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that that could look. That could be fun. Um, 
Right, so now that's that's done. Pick another one up and put it to the side here. Pick this one up, that seems to have gone Evans. I'm liking the look of this already. Let's attach this one to this. Just to make it a bit more, you know, suicidal. Oh! Aligned in, in one go. Perfect. Is that aligned properly? Uh, close enough. I'm sure there won't be any balance problems. Uh, there. And there we go. Okay. So now I have to link the outer ones to the fuel. I'm sure I do that somehow. Yeah, this is, the, this is the look I want. Um, no, no, that went wrong. Control Z, please. Right, bake it. And now, where is the? Where are my rockets that I need to attach? Um, well, I have to shift all of them. This will work. If I get round the back. So we can just sort of shift all of the rockets and link to all the fuel. And link. I've got to run away assumption that works. Well, I've finished linking. Um, uh, link, link. That sucks. I have to get round the back again. There we go. Oh, I have to link it to the chair. That's what I've done wrong. Oh. Okay. Uh, I should be able to do a save as somewhere. You get get rid of that. Don't need that. Um, come on, let me rename this, please. Hello, eBay. <coughs> Hello, eBay again. Okay. Um, let's see if this actually works. All I've done so far is something utterly suicidal. But, there we go. That's just bounced off. There we go. That looks perfectly safe. Fenton! 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 Fen oh, Jesus Christ. Never mind. Right, we get in. This This is the safest thing ever.
Were all 20 engines firing though? That is the question. What I need to do is find a really, really long, straight, flat bit of path. Which I'm not going to find around here anywhere. I'm not even accelerating. And I'm doing 100. This may not be the safest vehicle I've ever designed. We'll just fire the rocket once. And it seems to start wanting to accelerate by itself. Now, I do need to find a long straight bit of track to just just, just have a land speed test. This looks long, it's roughly straight, it's not flat, but never mind. Uh, I'm going to be airborne. No, I'm not. Let's hit that hill there and see how high we can go. Let's hit it on our on our roof. Still doing 100 miles an hour. I think I need to find. I think I need to find somewhere else. I think I need to start exploring again. And for that, I am obviously going to need. I would say the hot air balloon. That would be hilarious. But now I'm going to need the helicopter. I think. For this trick. The question is, is this going to be any easier to control with a controller than with a What have I just done? Oh, B is an astronaut. Um, that's okay. Where's the throttle up? Uh, I'm just hitting buttons at random here, seeing if any of them... Oh, here we go! Right! Right bumper! That's the one I want! Uh, this thing's still uncontrollable and loud! Top of the mountain there will make a really good race track. Okay, so we appear to be able to control it if we're at this revolution. By control, I sort of mean randomly float off to the side. Not to crash into the side of this! I think I need to bail. Clearly, I need to make a boat, and if I'm going to get anywhere... Ah, okay. Helicopter's not going to be much use, because it just sinks. That's a really, really deep ocean. Right, so clearly I need to make a boat. And clearly, I'm going to need to improve the boat, 
And as everybody who's ever watched me play this game knows, there is only really one way to improve a boat. A propeller is all very well and good. This isn't a boat, this is a hovercraft. Repeller is all very well and good, but what we are going to need, if I can remember the menu to get into it, is more boosters. So, I reckon about eight of these ought to do the trick. Fenton. Wait, where can I attach this to? This doesn't really, doesn't really give me much option in the way of in the way of places to attach this. I've got a nice little spotlight right there. Clearly what I'm going to need to do is stick in a few more pipes first. Um, so, uh, get a pipe and I reckon all I'm going to need is just a couple of curves. Is that the right one? Well, yeah, that'll do. So, we attach the pipe to somewhere on the top of here. Actually, no, that's the wrong one. What I need is a, a long pipe with a curve to it. So, I'm going to go into the pipe creator. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. This has the ability to be absolutely perfect. Um, back to uh, construction. Uh, we'll leave those on the floor though, we don't need them. Uh, where's my perfect pipe? Uh, maybe I should have actually made bits of it out of pipe bits rather than just connectors. But... Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Actually, I reckon I can improve on that pipe. So, what I shall do is uh, delete that. Um, how do I delete it? Cancel, no. Uh, I just, I'll, I'll leave, sorry, I, I've got to be able to remove it somehow. Control Z, no. Uh, no, return to game. Uh, rotating welds, breaking welds. Uh, middle, click in middle mouse and break the weld, so... There you go. And you, you... You can stay there. Okay. Go back into the pipe creator. Um, so if I... No, if I click right click, it just sends me back to the middle of the screen. So I'm going to make a... Mm, a, two, three... That should be okay for a double mount. And I reckon four of those either side of the boat ought to give it the grunt that it needs. So, that's the advantage. I only need four double mounts. Where are we? Yep. Are my rockets still on the floor? They, oh, we can make more. Whatever. Right, so, we pick up a double mount, stick one uh, here, ladies and gentlemen, we have the power, if you remember where the fuel tank is, may have to put a bit more fuel in, it's not too big a deal, come on, is that right, that's right. Two more of these, 
and we are laughing. And we are ready to go with our boats. Uh, okay, so now we just want a uh, safe vehicle suicide boat, obviously. And we want parts, we want the. Yes. Just as a sort of additional help. To, no, 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 thank you. Be brave. There. Yes, this is what it look, should look like. Every boat should have eight rocket engines strapped to it. Okay. That's pointing the wrong way. No worries, we just rotate it. This is 100% perfectly safe in every imaginable way. Get out of the way, boat. Okay, uh no, we say it again. So it's pointing the right way, thank you. And stick that there. And we have. No, no, no. We take. Thank you. Then we have eight rocket engines. One of those is. Th those front four are kind of pointing directly into the intakes for the back four, but I'm sure that will be fine. Save. Yes. Save, yes, save it as the suicide boat. Thank you. Bake it. Uh, let's go back to the fuel link. Where is the fuel tank anyway? underneath here uh, I believe so crawling along underneath in the service deck fuel 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 uh, and link it to that 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 uh, where's the other one that one no, 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 no. Damn it. Force me to get back underneath the damn thing, will you? Right, now link that to the... What? What? In the name of all hell? I don't think I'm clicking on the wrong part, that would just be irritating. Right, now I'll link that to the chair. Uh, yeah. I'll assume that worked. Back underneath, get the fuel. We're baked. Uh, let's go for it. Please put me back in the sea where I was. Okay. And oh, back to controls. Um, uh, 
Come on. Where's my boat? Just made this awesome boat and you're not allowing me to save the damn thing. Um let's see if I can see if I can load it. Um Load the suicide boat, thank you. Um everything's attached and welded and baked. The linkage is all correct, I hope. Where's the chair? What does that link to? No, oh, that'll do. Um, bake it in. A auto link, yep. Link all component. yeah, okay. That works. There's only one seat on it, so we should be fine. Uh, camera lock, no. No. Where's the save? Oh, bake it, of course. Control S, which does nothing. Like ah, come on for God's sake! Incidentally, I think that's supposed to be a clock. A uh, clock with most of a bit, its bits missing. Right, we'll assume that works. So I'm stuck out here, still in the middle of the ocean, and my suicide boat still isn't here. Which is frustrating. Even if I do my rocket car here and fling it, there's its tw the 20 engines and it sinks straight to the bottom of the sea. So clearly I'm going to, I'm just going to get the boat, fling that. Oh no, there, there are the engines, they, they are there. That's good. Uh, get in the seat. Yeah. We appear to be not moving. Maybe I need to throttle up. Yes! This is a bit more like it. <laughs> 5,000 RPM. Uh, cruising at a steady 120 miles an hour. Feels good. I uh, wonder how far inland we can get this thing. I don't think, I don't think my rockets are like attached to the, any fuel, which is a bit. Which is a bit crap. This thing does have a keel, so <laughs> it's kind of not really a hovercraft. Well, I'm still going actually accelerating. Actually. Yeah, that thing has two keels. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, we've got This is where we were previously. I'm pretty sure this is where we got to in the last live stream. So what I'm going to do... Got a fairly decent runoff area here. Camera! That's what that button does. That's what that button does. It's the same thing, it's a diff different button. Right, uh, get out the rocket car. Let's see how fast we can take the Super Fenton on this patch of land here.
This is what we say. Power! It's 400 kph. That's 250 miles an hour. This is Bugatti Veyron territory. 600. This is we're approaching 400 miles an hour. 871 kph. That's the speed record so far. And. Uh, well, uh, did I think? Did we catch fire there? I think we may have caught fire, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, yeah, I think we are on fire. It's a bit disappointing, but never mind. Please don't drown. Oh, I drowned. Uh, hello, Securitron. Don't call me no name! Damn fricker. Okay. Clearly, I need something a bit better than that. What I need is a hovercraft. Stop. Shut. Shut. Sh new. Create new vehicle. Name. Uh, super hovercraft. This is my first attempt at designing a vehicle from scratch. So this could very well go very badly. Right, we're going to put in a frame first. Unless there are any default ones we can use. Nope. Uh... And of all the vehicles I decide to do and make first, the hovercraft probably should not have been the first one to go with. And I've spawned a cube. Okay, that's that's a result. I don't remember that episode of episode of Doctor Who where cubes just plopped out of the sky. Right, um let's make a curve. Actually, this is a really bad idea. What I think I should perhaps do is get rid of all that. What else do we do? This is a U. Oh, hello. This is more like what I need. Uh, now the 9 is what I need. No. The nine is what I will need. I reckon I'll need some of those. I don't need my I don't need my pipes in here. No. That sucks. Oh well, never mind. That's because they're not pipes, I suppose. So two pipes. And let's make a very basic frame. Um I'll just get the lines. Get a line, nine, which should be a nine length line. So we'll connect that to connect that to that. It turns out that connecting pipes to other pipes is really difficult, even though that's basically the only thing that should happen. We're going to abandon the hovercraft. And get flushed by that crystal thing. Instead, I'm going to stick to editing... What do you mean I can spawn that? There's nothing there. We're going to... We're going to um, try the altitude rocket, just for kicks. Now that I reckon I can edit it. And there aren't really enough rockets for my liking, but whatever. Ba boing, 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 ba boing. Get in the seat. Throttle up. There's a blimp up there. If I could shoot it down. Come on! Throttle.
No throttle. We're not working on the throttle. We'll forget that then. Crunch. Uh, I'll just try the helicopter again. Maybe I can attach a rocket to it. We'll go with the plane. Now we'll go with the hot air balloon because that's going to be a bit more interesting than this has all the makings of something okay Okay, this is a 130 mile an hour hot air balloon, and I've just crashed it. This is considerably more steerable than the helicopter. So long, Valley. Now, why would I, why would my pipes not remain welded like that? I'm beginning to think this infinite sandbox may not be as infinite as I initially thought. I wonder if I could just jump out here. Uh, the answer is yes, but this is very deep and I'm probably going to drown again. Even though that makes no sense, this is not a survival game. There's no hunger, there's no air, there's no damage taken from falling, but I apparently can drown. Right. There's a land mass over there, that might be where I came from. There's the exploding neutron star, that is the actual sun of this place. I think I need a boat. Let's get out the boats, even though... Let's see if I can link up the actual rockets because they are connected to uh, the they're connected to the uh, con connected to the seat how do I connect it to the fuel okay Oh, jump is going up, that? that makes sense. Okay. Uh, we want that linked to the fuel tanks. And link. Okay! Um... So what I've got here is fuel linked to that one. And there, that's great. Uh, bake that, finish linking before baking. I have finished linking before baking. That's great. Now we have a rocket boat. 
I knew I was doing something wrong, it was that weird fancy up arrow thing. So, let's have a boat. With rockets, as it should be. Let me in. One, you start, please. Broken. Crap. Give me a new boat. Give me a new boat that preferably isn't upside down. Yeah, what I have here is a broken boat. What I have here is a crap boat! Uh, I'm not swimming home. Let's go back into let's go back into editing mode. I'm beginning to see now why I haven't live streamed or even played this in three we in three weeks, months, whatever. Right, the seat. Go to the linkage. We want to link the seat. Fast link it. Bake the link. Now the fuel should still be linked to the prop. It's not. That's the problem. Okay. The uh, it it's giving fuel to the. It's giving fuel to the rockets, but not to the propeller, which I do need. Okay. Okay. Now this should work. Should be able to get fuel to the propeller to start, and then we can use our. Then we can use the rockets and actually do some proper boating. Yep. See a landmass over there. Get... Are the rockets even working? They're not, but at least I've got a loud boat to make up for it. This looks promising. This is the promised land. It's a weirdly shaped land. What are these? Quest uh, markers, excellent. In saying this is the promised land, I may have been here before. Get 
Give me 200 kph, I can run the ground happily, knowing I'm doing 200 kph. 196. That'll do. So, farewell, sweet prince. Right. The rocket car. Let's edit this so that I'm, I'm at least getting the fuel because I know I didn't I know I didn't do that when I put in the new uh, rocket engines so get the fuel tanks uh, consumers we want that 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 and that and link and bake the links and now we have 20 rocket engines. It's good. Oh, I have paid. Okay, so this should result in brake horsepower roughly equivalent to the GDP of a small African country. Yeah, it's spitting fire. That's always a good sign. Ah! No, we're in the water. But on the plus side, we're not that far from land. On the negative side, we are still underwater, and that means drowny drown. And there we go, we have drowned, he drowned. And there is precisely no way in hell I can be asked to get out there again. So I'm just going to go for a land speed test in the hills here. What is the worst that can happen? Line up for a shot. I'm on the wheels. You can't deny that didn't work. This thing doesn't have a reverse gear. Okay. Uh, yeah, that 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 didn't work. This to me looks like a perfect run for power! Never mind Yar's revenge, this is the Nebergram's revenge! Land on the wheels and then immediately do a barrel roll. That's the proper way of doing this game. See that dragon ball? And that is how you climb a hill. Five hundred kph. That's what I want. That's oh. I wonder if I'm going to drown in like 4 inch deep water, that would be funny. Can we add an aqualung to these cars? Drowned. Right. One final shot and then I'm going to call it a night here, having accomplished absolutely nothing other than strap a load of engines to everything that engines that don't actually work. Maybe I should go back to just playing Kerbal Space Program. Or get WWE 2K15 and the water. And now that is on sale in Steam. Loud Waterfall!
Is he going to get a gyroscope to this, maybe? Oh! Benton! 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 Oh, Jesus Christ! Let's go faster than when I drive it. Uh, be free, sweet car. At last. Right, we're going to do a 0 to 100 test. Obviously we need a flat piece of land for that, but this will do, this is close enough. Okay, zero, one, two, not to 100 kph, two seconds. We could probably even do that upside down. Not to 200, not that much more. 300, there you go. 400! 500! Nothing. Okay. Uh, we'll call that a success for now. I'm going to call it a night here, in fact. I have been the Nebogram. This has been a live stream, or at least I hope it's been a live stream, and this has been merciless cocking about. See you next time.